Party funding libraries is important, but should taxpayers pay for massage chairs in them? It is, of course, a concern expressed by Chictawaga's town supervisor. Here's Channel 2's Claudine Ewing to explain. Chictawaga's town supervisor didn't hesitate to show pictures and financial documents for items purchased that she now questions. And there are three massage chairs and there's a Supervisor Diane Vinkowski says they may be a great addition, but why are they in a break room? This is how she found out. When I started looking at some of the receipts that the library board would be submitting for reimbursement, uh, I came across five of the reclining massage chairs. There are two libraries in the town. These are the three chairs in the Julia Boyer Reinstein Library. Those chairs should be out there for the public to use, not in a break room. While the majority of the funding comes from Erie County, the town does kick in dollars. This year, Chictawaga reduced funding by $30,000. Will that cut mean a reduction in staff and hours? That doesn't mean we have to cut the library hours or, or cut a day. It's just the way that they manage the money. She appoints council members to the library board. The Chictawaga mm -hmm. officials drop the ball when it comes to overseeing spending for libraries. It's a possibility, but I also put the blame on myself because I am the chief financial officer of the town. The chairs cost about $230 each. She wants them put out for the public. I also want to drive the Maserati, but I can't afford it. So, you know, this is taxpayer dollars. So I think it's more important that we keep those libraries open. And besides massage chairs, the supervisor is questioning the purchases of barrel chairs and wall murals. She says the library director told her the massage chairs replaced aging furniture. Coming up at 6 o'clock, more on those wall murals. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.